So what's really cool about FLL is that there are some really, really easy missions on the board to score some easy points. And there are really hard missions on the board for uh, some more points that are harder to get. And one of those missions that really makes you think to, to really earn the points is, is the sorting mission right there. So let's, let's, take, a, let's take a look at it. You earn points with the sorting mission by leaving this uh, orange or yellow, whatever color it is, uh, in the blue rectangle around the sorting center. And at the beginning of the match, these are randomized. Uh, so it could be like this, 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 it could even be like this. We don't know, it's randomized. So you have to have some way of knowing where the yellow one is so you can leave it in there. And a couple things come to mind. You could use a color sensor to come to each bay of the sorting center and uh, read the color and take the blue and the uh, green out. Or you can uh, have some sort of system or way to tell your robot when it leaves home, you can't touch it after it leaves home, but uh, some sort of thing that you can lay in the launch area that it runs over and a color sensor reads it um, so it knows where the thing is. So otherwise you would have to have nine different programs. And if you're using a Spike Prime, that just doesn't work because uh, you can only hold 10 programs on the brick. If you're running an EV3, you could have nine different programs for every position of the yellow brick to, to take out the green and the blue. But why let the robot think when we as humans can think? So here is my suggestion. Maybe have some sort of attachment like this on the front of your robot that lifts up or is a, like a forklift mechanism um, that you could detach and attach really, really easily all the prongs. So at the beginning of the match, uh, you see where they are, and then the person that's this, that's running the attachment just takes the prong off. So when it comes to pick them up, it just doesn't pick that one up. So, so instead of letting the robot think, we use our minds and we say, oh, it's in the left one. I'm going to take the left fork off. Or, oh, it's in the middle one. I'm going to take the middle fork off. Um, maybe it looks on the robot and the game something, something like this. So yeah, I think that's the easiest way to tackle the sorting mission in this year's Cargo Connect game. And uh, it's, it's really kind of simple because you know, why, over, why overthink things? Um, it can be very, very complicated and we can get lost in all the complicatedness of it. And I don't think we should do that. I think, you know, just don't run this mission first if, if you don't have time to, to, to take one of the sides of a forklift off or take the middle one out or or uh whatever don't don't uh 
don't don't run this mission first. Make sure that the that the you have time and and whoever is doing this attachment um, or is in charge of this mission, whether it's uh, the the third mission out or the 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 second time your robot leaves the launch area, um, make sure that the you have time to take a prong off, take a fork off, and you're good. You can take these cargo containers and go anywhere with them, do anything with them. Put one in the blue circle right away. Put them on the train right away. Take them right back to the to home right away. So you have them to put in Cargo Connect circles. I hope this helped you out. I hope you're inspired to do the sorting mission. And uh, it's really, really neat. It's cool. I like this mission. It's good. It's a good one. Uh, I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.